In this tutorial, we're going to cover what properties are and how they can be used. As you can see, I've already switched my screen layout to game logic. At the bottom left, we have a properties panel in the logic editor window. Let's go ahead and add a game property to the default cube. Now, properties are essentially variables that are attached to specific objects. It's important to note that a single object can have multiple properties. Also, multiple objects can have the same property. Several of the logic bricks incorporate properties into them. For example, let's put in a collision sensor. This sensor detects if the cube collides with or touches another object. However, we can specify a property in this field. This means that we can have the sensor only detect collisions with other objects that have this specified property. For example, this could be useful to check if your character is colliding with ground, with water, or any other terrain. You can differentiate the different types of terrain with different properties. Each property has a name and a value. The name specifies the callable name of the property. The value is the data that the property holds. The value isn't needed in all cases. For example, properties such as ground or water define different types of terrain just by the property's name. The value really isn't used in this case. However, if the property tracks something such as health or ammo, the value is used to track the specific amount of health or ammo the character has. The value of a property can be one of five types. Timer, which is a number that constantly counts up. String, a string of text. Float, a number with decimals. Integer, whole numbers which don't have decimals. And Boolean, which only toggles between true or false. Each type of value has its own specific uses. Referring to the examples we used before, properties such as health or ammo would need an integer value, since they are tracked with whole numbers and not decimals. If we wanted to use a ground property, we could use a string value to specify different types of ground by inputting text values such as grass, dirt, or sand. Let's take a closer look at how properties are integrated into the logic bricks. Let's give this cube a new property. I'll name it health and give it an integer value of 5. Let's make it so that every time we press the spacebar, it detects one point of health. First, let's add a keyboard sensor and bind it to the spacebar. We also want to make sure we activate tap. Without it, health will continuously be deducted as long as the key is held down, which we don't want in this case. We only want it to happen once when we press the key. That's what the tap feature does. It only sends one positive signal every time the key is pressed. Next, we'll add a property actuator. This can be used to manipulate the value of a property in a couple different ways. For our purposes, we'll choose Add, select Health as a property to effect, and we'll plug in negative 1 for the amount, since we want to subtract health. Now, as I run the game engine and press the spacebar, there isn't any visual indication of what the health property is. To fix this, we can set the property to display as debug information. To do this, find the property in the logic editor window, hit the I button, then go up to game, and select show debug properties. Now when I run the game, you can see cube.health equals 5 in the top left corner. This way we can track what the property is while the game is running. Now let's make it so that when the health property reaches zero, we'll delete the cube from the game. Add a property actuator to the cube. We'll select equal, health for the property, and enter zero for the value. This means that the sensor will send a positive signal once the value of the health property is equal to zero. To delete the cube in the game, Add an Edit Object Actuator, and select End Object from the drop-down. So let's go ahead and test this out. Each time I hit the spacebar, the health property goes down by 1, and when it hits 0, it deletes the cube from the game. So this serves as a basic introduction to properties and how they can be used.